As promised, Stanford Steve is here. Did you know on SportsCenter a pick six is a good thing? That's <laughs> it's a good thing. It's all about the money. I want to start with a couple of SEC games that you're looking at. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to start with the one here, yeah. Texas Alabama. Yeah. I, when you think about this game, I go back and I think about last year's game. Going back and watch that tape, the reason Texas was in that game mm -hmm. was their defense. They beat up Alabama up front on the defensive side. When you looked at Alabama's offense, and when you think about this matchup. All these guys right here are back 93 90 95 and when I look at Alabama they still have what you want when you're going to attack an offense edge rushers great secondary play they are back to a Nick Saban defense I like under the total here I think both defenses play well in this game and when we look at the other SEC matchup that all eyes are going to be on it's A&M going on the road I was completely wrong last week when you look at what A&M did on the, in the first half Bobby Petrino gets an A-plus for how A&M looked last week, oh, scoring yeah. five touchdowns on their first five drives of the season. I like, uh, I really like A&M on the road against Miami, minus the points. Yeah, so much for trying to work out some of the machinations of a no. new offense. They were fantastic out of the gate. The Aggies, by the way, won that matchup a year ago by eight at home. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's take a look at the rest of the pick six, because you've only picked two, and let's start <laughs> with a future SEC team. We're talking about Oklahoma facing SMU. What do you like there? Both teams look great last week. The offenses are going to be at super, you know, high speed. I liked Al uh, Oklahoma over the total last week because of their offense. When you look at SMU, they love to play up-tempo also. So I like over the total here, 68 and a half. The key is going to be third downs. Who's efficient on third down? Who stays in manageable situations on third down and keeps momentum going in this game? I think SMU has a chance to win it, but we'll go over the total at 68 and a half. The Next one, not so good. Not many teams have had a worse couple months than Northwestern. They opened their season on the road in Piscataway against Rutgers on Sunday afternoon, and it was as bad as it could get. Three quarterbacks played in that game for them. They combined the show for 189 yards, but I'm going to take them. They look at their schedule. This is a win. If they don't win this game against UTEP, it's going to get pretty ugly. The next one we have, big one. Early game, NC State. Last week, Brennan Armstrong makes his Wolfpack debut at quarterback. Tricky situation. They're a double-digit uh, favorite going up to the rent against UConn. It wasn't pretty, but they got the job done. Now they come home. What does Notre Dame have? We're going to find Find out. NC State's defense keeps them in the game the whole game. I like NC State plus the points. And our last one here, late on the Palouse, Washington State is at home now. This is from last year. Washington State went to Madison and beat the Badgers and set their season, you know, on the wrong, on the wrong tick downwards. Now they're home. I love that Wazoo got to play this team last year. That's a huge confidence boost going back to Madison and winning. Now you get this team at home. Washington State will be in that game start to finish I like them plus the points so there's your six pack L have at it I like it there's your six pack this is what Stanford Steve is picking for you um, not listed here maybe a side bet that I'm trying to do here what he thinks the first Dan and Shay song will be that they'll perform on game day tomorrow Ooh. can we do a side bet on that one a little prop bet if you will oh sounds like you got inside information maybe <laughs> Stanford Steve joining us uh, live here from Tuscaloosa as we get set for the marquee matchup maybe of the season right now Number 11, Texas in town for the first time in over 120 years. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.